Hey, this is Andy Mandel with the Mandel team at Remax Advisors, and we're here today with Bridget King from Captiva Design to give you your three tips on how to stage your home to get it sold quickly and for top dollar. Good morning. Thanks for having me, Andy. Thank it's a you, pleasure Bridget. to be here. Thank you very much for coming, Bridget. Uh, Bridget, if you could do me a favor uh, and just tell everyone a little bit about who you are and what you do, and uh, then we can get started with our tips. Wonderful. Well, good morning, everyone. I am Bridget King from Captiva Design, Interior Decorating, and Home Staging. And home staging is a marketing tool to help you get your property sold for one, the fastest amount of time, and for the most amount of money. And so what we do at Captiva Design is we work with clients in preparing their homes and allowing them to be market ready so that when buyers walk in, they say, wow, I want to live here. <laughs> and that's great. We bring in Bridget for as many staging consultations as humanly possible for all our sellers to help give a couple tips and you know, strategies to make their home look the right way. So like she said, they sell quickly and for top dollar. So Bridget, you want to start with tip number one for how to get your home sold quickly and stage it? Absolutely. Well, first of all, you need to book your consultation with Captiva Design. That's the first thing. Of course. Then secondly, we want to visit your property, right? We do a property walkthrough with the client and we ensure that all the recommendations will help you get your property sold. So number one, we want to declutter and depersonalize. Yes, remember that potential buyers are buying your space and not your things. Very important to remember. Tip number two, I always like to talk about light and bright. When I walk into a home, I want it to feel airy. You want it to feel light. You want it to feel warm, but you also want it to feel welcoming to potential buyers. Remember, women buyers largely make the final decision when purchasing a home. So we want to appeal to our women buyers in allowing them to have some type of decor and showing how the livability of the space will be for this new home buyer. And tip number three? Yes, so when you're selling your home, odors are important. And remember, we like things to smell fresh and clean. So if you smell it, you can't sell it. So pet odors can be a turn off to a potential buyer as well as smoke and mold. So remember to make sure that your home is light and bright and it smells fresh and clean. Sometimes it's like that for Breeze commercial, you know, sometimes you go nose blind, you don't realize yes. you know, the smells that your home may have. So we try to make everything very neutral when we go to sell a house. Absolutely. And um, I'd like to just edit with uh, staging your home. I mentioned in the first tip about depersonalizing. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't want to depersonalize it to the point where it feels very bland and not welcoming. We want to make sure you do leave some artwork for color. Area rugs help to add color. And a few family photos are definitely welcomed in the home. Of course. So some of you might actually recognize Bridget. She was actually on an HGTV show uh, just a few months ago. Uh, who did you help stage their house? Oh, yes, we did a superstar all star flip featuring Gabrielle Union, actress, married to D. Wayne Wade of the Miami Heat. And that was a super fun show down in Miami. Uh, that was filmed last year and it aired earlier this year. And that was a home that was purchased by the couple, rehabbed, staged, and sold over the weekend. Phenomenal. So if you haven't seen that episode, it's on HGTV. Feel free. I'm sure you can look it up on, on YouTube or on the HGTV website. It was a great flip. Uh, Dwayne and Gabrielle, if you're watching this, uh, you did a really, really good job, and you did a great job, Bridget, at staging it. Thank you. So those are our three tips for staging a home and getting it sold for top dollar. If you guys have any questions, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, or you can give Bridget a call. All her information is on her website that you'll see all the information down here. Uh, anything we can do to help you out, let us know.